Ice Owls and the Arkansas Razorbacks to get their season underway. And from a couple yards deep in the end zone, the return eclipses the 20 and then the 25. Ball comes loose. Out at about the 28-yard line, Arkansas maintains it. A couple of hearts skip a beat. Defender, take a look. As he makes the spin cut, and he, a little loosey-goosey with the football. Got to protect that ball. Had a huge outing in his start against Missouri last year. And what does he have here today? Plenty of time on the roll. He gets clobbered as he looks to throw. And he's taken down on the opening snap. Antonio Montero. Mike linebacker, number one, is going to come into your screen. It's a blitz. And he's going to chase. Green with a comfortable pocket around him. Makes the pass. There's some extra yardage to be had all the way out to near midfield. Their man coverage across the board. And they, they play most of the man free. And if you make a man miss in man coverage. And that went into the end zone. So it's Arkansas here on its second drive. Starting from their own 20-yard line, Traylon Smith with a nice burst, and he gets all the way out to the 40-yard line, picks up about 20 on the run for the redshirt junior. Through 17 touchdowns and just four interceptions in the 2020 season. Off to the left side, plenty of space and a lower shoulder for Rocket Sanders, the freshman from Florida out of the backfield. 6'2", right into his wheelhouse. There's room up the middle, Jefferson takes off, he's to the 20, to the 10, open field, touchdown, K.J. Jefferson, and just like that, Arkansas is on the board, 6-0. About the quarterback position, I think you're in good hands with K.J. Jefferson, 34 yards to the house. For the Razorbacks as they get set to punt it away to start the second quarter. And it's blocked. It's loose at the 20, and Rice recovers. The Owls with another short field. Special teams, a difference maker in the first half. And just a poor protection up front by the Razorbacks. That's a great way to, to block a punt, too. You got to come in with your hands. A lot of times, guys will jump or dive. No, 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 take it off the foot of the punter. It's a perfect job right there. Built-in assumption that your line is going to be better than an SEC defensive line. Here's Riccatelli for his second field goal try. And after a miss on the first, he's true here and makes it a 7-3 ball game. All sorts of time. Pressure finally gets there. The Owls converge the throw to the sideline. Might be picked off, Mike. Yes, Sean Fresh got in front of it. The freshman from Austin, Texas. Fresh is just going to step right in front of this ball. Jefferson, I don't think, sees him or thinks he's going to... That's a great... Get the both feet in bounds by Fresh, the first-year starter. We, we talked with the, the staff at Rice. They said, you know, Fresh is a little bit untested, but they love his ability. We could bring him in the next play if you get the first down. It's just... It's a back and forth. McCaffrey quickly hands it off, and that goes nowhere in a hurry. This is just power football time, Mike. Rice gets big on the offensive line. Handoff for Myers, who plunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice, and the Owls take the lead in Fayetteville. Touchdown, underdog, coming to an SEC opponent. They've got the lead, 10-7. Trying to build on a three-point advantage. Green fakes the give. He loads up, throws deep down the middle of the field. It's a wide-open August Pete for a Rice Owls touchdown. Big strike. It's a double move on the outside. Wide open. As a three-touchdown dog. They're up 10 and not staring in the backfield. 
Deep shot try from Jefferson along the sideline. Oh, a beautiful connection. Tyson Morris had to grab it with one hand, and he does exactly that for a huge game. The effort by Tyson Morris just goes up, fights off the defender, hauls it in. Burks, the top option for Jefferson at the bottom of your screen. Looking for him, Jefferson takes off, he leaps, and he is there. K.J. Jefferson, for the second time today, runs for an Arkansas touchdown. He says, I'll do it on my own. Takes it to the house, and Arkansas. I'm not being overly critical of the coaching staff here, because they know what they're doing, but like, Green throws a beautiful pass for a touchdown. And McCaffrey follows up with another <laughs> beautiful pass. It's on I guess never mind. again. Just keep throwing the ball to number 88. Just guess know what they're doing. <laughs> this beautiful throw by McCaffrey on the outside to, to Pete. Matched up with Greg Brooks, the nickel. Kick on its way, and it is pure, and things are even at 17 in Fayetteville as Cam Little is good on the field goal opportunity. Pocket quickly collapses off the edges. The ball is tipped and intercepted. Arkansas has got it. Here comes Catalan inside the 20, cuts back at the 10. He bounces off a couple of tacklers, goes sideways as the flag comes down. But Catalan has the interception, and Arkansas has got some juice early in the fourth quarter. Ball tipped in the air, Catalan right there, Johnny on the spot, and then he knows what to do with it down the field. I wouldn't jump like that, but... It's a good job on that return, and they hit the quarterback, Wiley Green, with the uh, the low blow. Right there at the end. He's trying to take out a defender, or in this case, a blocker on the return. And it all started with Mark Kelotzi along the defensive line, the former... Now first to goal, Smith into the end zone, Arkansas touchdown, the Razorbacks have a fourth quarter lead. A lot different here in the second half, all Razorbacks as they take the lead back with a great run, powerful run by Traylon Smith. With the crowd behind the Razorbacks, Wiley Green floats it to the outside, and he's intercepted. It's taken away by Ladarius Bishop. To the right side of your screen, just plays this foot. This is a long throw. Trying to get it out to 88 Austin Pete, or August Pete, I should say, excuse me. That's just a bad throw, bad read by Green. I mean, but I certainly understand where you're coming from, a defender's perspective, where the contact was really negligible. Jefferson rolls, throws end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. Going into the locker room at halftime, and assuredly the list of grievances for the head coach will be long today, but you can take them a little bit easier, at least, when you come away victorious, as the Razorbacks are on the doorstep of doing it. I, I will tell you what, I really like Jefferson on the move, throwing the football. He seems to be really accurate once he gets outside the pocket. That was a nice throw to Morris. The burst up the middle, the survival of the first wave. Dominique Johnson, touchdown Arkansas with less than a minute to go. No doubt. I mean, they're bigger, stronger, faster. You see it. They wore out Rice in the second half. McCaffrey for one more try. And his pass is caught. Triple zeros on the clock. The Razorbacks survive an early scare and defeat the Rice Owls 38-17. Well, the... 
the fans were a little nervous for a half, and then things just really turned around here in the second half. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.